Let's take another look at an example of an integral involving both tangent and secant here. We saw in a previous example that if your power of secant is an even number, you can borrow two of those secants to be your du, you said u to be tangent of x, and you can do a u substitution. Uh, what I want to do is show you what you can do if your power of secant is in fact odd. If your power is odd, the idea is you don't want to use this one, secant squared. What you want to do, and the reason for that is if you have an even amount and you take away two, you'll be left with an even amount and you can then convert secants into tangents using the Pythagorean identity. If you have an odd amount and you borrow two, you'll have an odd amount and then you can't do the Pythagorean identity being the even there. On the other hand, if you use, if you set u to be tangent secant, I, I should say du to be tangent secant. So we take du to be a tangent x secant x dx. Then in that situation, you should set u equal to be, uh, u to be, uh, spacing out here, secant of x. Uh, what would happen in the previous situation? So let's kind of break it up into smaller pieces. The tangent to the fifth, secant to the seventh. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to borrow one of the tangents and one of the secants. So we get tangent to the fourth theta. We're going to get secant to the sixth theta. And then we have this tangent theta, secant theta, d theta right here. And so notice this tangent secant d theta, we're setting this aside to be our du. I noticed I was writing x earlier with our variables. That was a mistake on my part. They should be thetas. So the tangent theta, secant theta, d theta will become our d theta. What do you do with the rest of it? Well, secant to the sixth should be fairly clear. Secant to the sixth should just be u to the sixth. What about the tangent to the fourth? In that situation, well, utilizing the Pythagorean identity above here, notice that tangent squared, uh, I should say in this case, tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta minus one. Making that substitution, tangent to the fourth is gonna become, well, tangent to the fourth is just tangent squared squared. So we're gonna get a secant squared theta minus one. That's a tangent squared. And then if we square that, we'll get a tangent to the fourth. And so recognizing, of course, every secant becomes a u. This will become a u squared right there. And so employing this u substitution, our integral can be changed into u squared minus one squared. Uh, we get u to the sixth du. And so this is a nice polynomial expression. Uh, we can multiply this thing out. First foil out the u squared minus one squared. Uh, if we do that, we end up with a u to the fourth minus two u squared plus one u to the sixth du. I then would recommend distributing the u to the sixth onto all three pieces. Uh, doing that, we end up with the integral of u to the 10th minus two u to the eighth plus u to the sixth. Now don't be overwhelmed if the power seems so big. Oh no, u to the 10th, oh, oh dear. Well, for the power rule, it makes really no difference. I mean, if our power is one million, then we integrate the power rule to become a million and one. Um, so just, just employ the power rule as we've seen with antiderivatives in the past. Uh, we would end up with one eleventh u to the eleventh minus two ninths u to the ninth plus one seventh u to the seventh plus a constant. And now replace the u with secant of theta, which was our original substitution there. In which case we get 1 11th, uh, not u, secant to the 11th theta. Uh, then we get minus 2 ninths secant to the 9th theta plus 1 seventh, whoops, 1 seventh secant to the 7th theta plus a constant. And here's our antiderivative. So we've now seen in this example plus the previous one, if the power of secant is even, what to do? In this one, I have to add a little bit of a caveat, right? Uh, we, I said this is what we do when secant is power is odd, but it also only works if tangent's power is also odd. Um, it can get a little bit funky otherwise, but if you have an odd number of tangents and an odd number of secants, this, this will work out very well for us.